Hello everybody, Moth King here, playing Horde. Um, this is a game about dragons from uh, Big Sandwich Games. Um, it's about collecting uh, your horde as a dragon. Obviously we know dragons love to collect gold and put it in their lair. Um, this is pretty much it. Um, also, it's uh, played from a, a perspective, as you can see from here, although the camera does follow your dragon around. You can play it with either the mouse or the controller. Uh, I prefer with the mouse and keyboard. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I'm just going to show you a few things uh, in the, you know, before we actually start the game, uh, because this is going to be quite fast paced. Um, you can click uh, the um, description uh, thing over here uh, if you want to skip directly to the gameplay. So before we do that, I'm just going to jump to the options menu and uh, show you guys uh, the things that you can do. Uh, you can play this like normal, as you can see, like grasslands, uh, you can have it on snow, or if you have the DLC, you can also play it here in the desert. Um, you can also turn night, mo night mode on, uh, it looks like this. Um, I don't know, it ju I just find it a bit more difficult to see, I'm going to change that back and turn it to uh, off for this video, uh, you know, so you guys can see better. Uh, also, uh, you can play it on uh, random if you want, uh, but uh, I'm just gonna play it on normal. Uh, you can do the same with the night mode. Now, um, this game has functional multiplayer. It uh, works pretty well. Um, I haven't uh, played it thus far, so I can't really tell you if there are uh, still games available or not. Although, when I look at the leaderboards, there's some crazy scores over there, so probably there still is. Uh, I'm just going to jump into single player. Uh, there's multiple game modes, of course, there's tutorial, there's treasure where you uh, try to, uh, you know, collect all, as much treasure as you can. It is usually played, you know, with at least uh, another dragon or uh, you can play up to four players here. Uh, quite a few maps, as you can see. Uh, there is Princess Rush where you try to collect a certain number of princes uh, before the other dragons do. Uh, there is Horde mode, which uh, in which you try to survive. It's like uh, the world grows really, really fast in this mode, and you just have to, uh, you know, um, try to level up and things before they kill you once. Um, now this is co-op. This is like uh, one single nest and multiple dragons, you know, just uh, to help uh, each other out. Now. Um, I'm just gonna play it on treasure mode, I guess, and I think I'm gonna be playing it uh, on Lucky Town, yeah. Uh, these are the options you get if you have the DLC bot, there's a heal power up, uh, better crops, which give you more gold if you destroy them, and uh, bomb wagons. Yeah, you can detonate those, but uh, be careful. Um, anyways, uh, you can also color your dragon, and just to choose uh, which one you want, I'm gonna go for fiery red, I guess. Uh, and uh, leaderboards, yeah, some pretty crazy scores, as you can see. Uh, you, can, you can go and find me, which I think I'm somewhere around 2,000... Where am I? Here. 2,653, so yeah. <laughs> some people are really good at this game. Um, so let's just uh, hop right into it. By the way, the game is uh, about... Uh, before I actually start the game, I'm going to tell you it's about uh, kidnapping princesses, collecting treasure, burning down towns, fields, uh, terrorizing towns in order for them to pay tribute to you, fending off thieves that are trying to steal uh, from your lair, uh, and uh, knights that are trying to rescue the kidnapped princesses, and just mainly being a greedy dragon. So let's uh, hop into it. I think uh, the time limit is 10 minutes uh, every time you go uh, a new treasure run, so we'll just see, there we go. Yeah, it is 10 minutes. As you can see, the world kind of spawns as if it was set on a table in a miniature, which is uh, kind of nice. Uh, uh, let's just burn these windmills down. Now, I usually start with windmills because uh, they give you, uh, uh, you know, um, I give you a decent amount of gold. I don't try to burn fields down, although I did burn that one down. You know, it doesn't matter really that much. But yeah, that's a wheat caravan. It's going to send wheat to the town, making it grow faster. There is sort of an economical system here in this game. And as you collect gold, you level up. So let's go for speed, breath, and treasure. Now, 
obviously we can attack this guy, who's also... Oh, okay, he just went right past us. Uh, you know, uh, cities grow buildings and stuff, so, uh, you know, uh, the more buildings it has, the more grow it is, and, uh, you know, right now that was that's a marketplace that is spawned in that town over there, meaning it's going to produce higher uh, quality goods, which uh, can sell for more money. Of course, uh, towns will try to defend themselves from you, but you can make them uh, fear you by not destroying them, just hurt them. And uh, that means they won't be attacking you anymore. Oh, you picked up the gold. Okay. Uh, and uh, they will be sending tribute to you. They will still attack other dragons, though. You know what? I just, just want to see if there's much I can destroy. There's a trade cargo right here. Some nice barrels. There we go. Collected the gold. And as you can see down here, there's actually better crops. I'm just gonna destroy that. It gives you more gold. It's a thief's den. Don't like those. Collect this before I leave. I think that guy just stole money from us. He used the power up that makes you steal stuff. Oh well. We also have a power up available. Uh, let's go for. I guess I can go for one for defense, breath, and speed. Okay. I can use my fireball ability now on this guy, and also there's a knight. Now, that's a tower right now, since it's level 1, but it's going to upgrade into a fort and then into a castle, meaning that there's going to be, like, uh, higher uh, level princesses and level, uh, knights coming out from it. Uh, let's see... One for treasure. Let's just balance our dragon, there we go. Um, now, I'm going to make that town fear me very soon, because I really want the, you know, the tributes it produces. It has two marketplaces. There we go. Now the archers will no longer attack us, but they will still attack the purple the dragon. Oh, and that's the thieves then that I don't want. It spawns thieves uh, way too many times, so there we go. More gold. And this guy has a fireball. Can we take him down? Yep, we can. Nice. Uh, if you take down a dragon, that means that the multiplier resets, so... Uh, do be careful, try not to get taken down. And right there is a princess caravan, which I'm going to take down, actually. There we go, I kidnapped the princess, and I took her to my lair. Now, knights will obviously try to, uh, you know, um, uh, rescue her, as, you know, and then uh, make it like, uh, you know, funny hearts coming out behind them, and uh, they will level up to a heroic dragon as well. So, obviously, we have to protect uh, uh, the princess from other dragons as well. Uh, everyone's trying to get to us. I'm not gonna let you burn down my city. Uh, you can take uh, terrified cities uh, from other dragons uh, as well, so... Let's just take down this thief guy. Take some more... Why are you, why are you still flying over here, directly through me? Silly. Okay. Down this caravan. Ah, we took some damage. Okay, that's fine. But I got a speed power up, so no problem. Uh, now, this world is starting to grow quite a bit, so I'm just gonna start destroying a few stuff. Uh, you don't want the world to grow too much. Uh, let's pick the treasure. By the way, uh, these uh, things that you choose to level up your dragon, like uh, for instance, speed up, will give you different colored. Uh, wings, uh, so it doesn't matter, like, at least cosmetically. Oh, okay, we didn't get to go down. And this town now fears me, but I'm still gonna take it down, because uh, it's too close to that guy's lair. Okay, I healed up. I think I can take this guy down. Can I? Yeah, I did. Alright, nice. And that's about it. We can go back to our lair, heal up. By the way, you can carry gold and a princess as well, as well so it's uh, pretty much on how to maximize your gold outputs. Oh, you got a power up. Uh, yeah, you are pretty much indestructible in your lair. At least against other dragons. Uh, what do I want to go for? Let's go for defense. I'm gonna need it very soon, we'll see why. Uh, just collect more golds. Intercept some trade card caravans, and I guess I can terrorize this town. There we go. I'm not gonna take the archers down. There we go. Now, as you can.
can see that guy's attacking the city. He might take it away from us. Oh, kidnapped the princess. Maybe we can take the princess away from him. There we go, we kidnapped the princess from him. <laughs> um, yeah, now she is on our side. He cannot take her back as long as we are on our lair. Uh, but uh, let's just kidnap another one. You really do play a little bastard here in this world. Or let's just say a really terrifying greedy dragon. Um, but that's at least the way some of the dragons were. Um, this, another princess. There shall be no heroes where I stand. Right. Let's see. This here is a mage tower. And he fires these really annoying uh, lightning balls at you. By the way, when he, when the tower dies, as you can see, he dropped that... Uh, what was it called? That weird gem. So, man, this guy's fast. Oh. Can't take him down now. Okay, whatever. Um, he drops down these uh, crystals, or rather uh, gems, and if you uh, take a gem, um, you will uh, drop all of your treasure, and uh, by the way, you cannot carry a gem and the princess, so you can just carry the gem if you uh, take it. Oh no, he kidnapped the princess. There we go. Oh, he also had a thief, which, st which means that he lost his multiplier, we gotta burn this guy down. There's a princess that went to town, alright. This town still fears us. We'll take down the thief. Uh, towns will still sometimes spawn thieves, even if you don't have a marketplace, but it just makes it like uh, a, bit, uh, a bit higher to uh, respawn rate. Oh, that town is now. The fear, fears him, okay. Changing that. So a lot of wheat, wheat fields, so I'll just take a few downs to slow the process of uh, growth. Uh, let's go with speed and treasure. There we go, another princess. Okay. Spawned just about at the right time, and that's a giant over there. A giant spawn once the, the world has, you know, started to grow too much. Oh, shit! I am... Okay. Uh, they pretty much uh, kill you in one hit, so you need to rush back and heal. And while you're doing that, you are very vulnerable. Uh, there's pretty much nothing that you can do. Okay, so this guy left me alone. Alright. But taking down a giant, if it's possible... Oh, what? This guy healed. Um, if you can, I will drop a lot of gold for you. If you can, that is, because dragons, I mean, giants are really hard to take down. Oh, he nearly got me there. And there we go, he's down. Now he's gonna drop a shit ton of gold. Just gonna loot it. Gonna take down this guy. I would reset his multiplier. So he's being shot at. Just collecting. Oh, he's trying to steal from me. No can do. Come on. Burn him down. Okay, there we go. And that's it, I guess. Uh, do be careful though, because caravans will pick up money on the road. I think that the amount of gold that was picked was picked by a caravan now. So, uh, you know, all the gold that giant have is was from them. Okay. Here, take the princess, take a speed up. We take this guy down. Okay, let's try to terrorize my town again. Uh, but that is my town. Cover off. There we go. Thief to take down. Uh, Wizard's Tower, by the way, uh, spawn uh, like later in the game, so it's no real uh, trouble early on. But they constantly respawn. They never stop. Uh, more princesses, more gold. I have more gold than Smurg now. Uh, you know, the dragon from The Hobbit, if you watched. Uh, Let's see. Take it. Oh, this guy's lagging really early. Okay, we got him at the end. Uh, more gold. It's a giant. Too bad he doesn't destroy the uh, wizard's tower. Um, this side of the kingdom is looking fine. He 
this guy kicked the gold up, I think. I can't destroy this castle, though. There we go. It's only... it's about to be over, so... There we go. Let's see how we did. Oh, we did get a gold rating. That's nice. Um, just barely, though. But still, gold rating. Um, we've beaten the Sheriff. Uh, the Purple Dragon. So yeah, there are other game modes available and uh, uh, tile sets. I prefer this one and, uh, you know, just for the sake of the video I played it on this one. So uh, yeah, I would like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!